broadcasting live worldwide. Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. <laughs> Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Noah. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it say. Let it say. Yeah. Good morning. You listening to Half Faith Lab again, and it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. It's a Wednesday, and it's 5-15-2024. Holy cow, we are in May, and we're still plugging along in the Northeast. The rain is starting to come down. We're all freaking out over the gas prices. And my goodness, $3.59, I saw $3.69. Holy mackerel, what is going on? Let's get these gas prices down, huh? (laughs) Well... I am sitting here in the truck driving to work like all of you, and boy, am I exhausted. Why? Because at 3 a.m., that's right, 3 (sighs) o'clock, you see, I I couldn't help it, 3 o'clock in the morning, Noah decided to wake up screaming, crying, couldn't figure out what was wrong. Uh, Then, of course, Ariel woke up, and before you know it, you got two kids in the bed, the wife can't take it anymore. She goes to the couch. And then I'm stuck uh, in between these two kids because they love to kick when they're sleeping. So they're kicking each other, waking each other up, ticking each other off more. And before you know it, it's like 3.30 in the morning and Noah is really, really wide awake. And he's upset, cranky, crying. And he finally decides to look at me and say, Cheerios. And I said, what? I'm not giving you Cheerios at 3.30 in the morning. The type of cry that he had at one point really signified the fact that he was hungry. And maybe, you know, earlier that night he just didn't eat enough. So I tried to wait as long as I could because I wanted to see if he would go back to sleep. But no, at 4.15 a.m., I poured a bowl of cereal for Mr. Noah. And sure enough, he had cereal. He had it, and he had a smile on his face. Of course, he got what he wanted, right? But as soon as after he was done, he decided to jump into the bed and pass out. Yep, he was hungry. So, now it's like 4.30 in the morning. I got about 30 minutes to figure out if I should just go to sleep and get 30 minutes of sleep, or if I just start my day. I chose to try to sleep. And, of course, I just sat there until about 4.45 when all of a sudden my body said, Oh, let me take a nap now. And I got 15 minutes of sleep. Oh, yeah. So, right next to me is a nice, large, hot coffee. Nice, large, hot coffee. And I'm going to be drinking that in a few minutes. But what is the purpose of today's episode? Well, it's called the 3 a.m. wake-up call. You know... As Noah's upset, you know, deep down inside, I'm not going to lie, you know, I was frustrated, but he's two years old. He doesn't know any better. And he was hungry. You guys, are you on for the second time? And I apologize, but I am exhausted. I said to myself, you know what? This is what I signed up for. This is what being a dad is all about. And one day, I'm going to wish he wakes me up. And asked me for a bowl of Cheerios. As we get closer and closer to the end of the school year. And a lot of college kids are coming home. You see the parents' faces as they're happy their kids are home. You know, especially the freshmen. You see that one year down, 
three to go. That could also mean that they're excited that there's one year down and three to go, and then they're out of that college debt. But it's just knowing the importance of being together. And that's the message today, is cherishing every moment, every second with each other. You notice that yesterday's episode, today's episode, is kind of the same. We are all in need of wanting to be a part of something. We are all in need of wanting to believe in someone. As our children look to us for guidance, for comfort, allow us to use that same ability and those needs and wants in our Heavenly Father so that we can instill that on our children that God is with us that God believes in us and that God is never going to leave our side just as we are there for our children remember that today and every day as you go about your day and always remember that God has his best interests for you because he created you and I in his image let's pray Heavenly Father, we thank you for this rainy morning. We thank you, Lord, as we praise you on the good days and on the bad days. We thank you, Lord, for coming together and allowing us the opportunity to speak with one another, to share. Lord, I may be on two or three hours of sleep, but my love for my child and my two children uh, is far greater than any lack of sleep I'll ever have. I can sleep later. I thank you, Lord, for being there for me and our Half Faith Letter Begin family. And we hope that each and every one of you has a beautiful rainy day here in the Northeast. And remember that we here at Half Faith Letter Begin welcome you onto this channel. If you have a story to share, if you have a testimony, please feel free to reach out. Up and coming episodes, we've got Nick coming back. We've got Eloise coming on. We've got a lot of people still. D- Dylan, I'm waiting for you, buddy. <laughs> and for all those out there, thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow. And never forget, have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to Have Faith for it Begin. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we improve. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to How Faith for Begin. We'll be back tomorrow. Well, the car's shot. And what they want to charge for a new transmission, we might as well get a new car. We'll have to 86 it. Uh, I figure we can get something if we trade it in. No, take it to 86 Auto World. They actually work on transmissions. 86 Auto World is your one-stop auto shop. From oil changes and repairs to tires and body work, they've got you covered. 86 Auto World, 86 East Main Street, Middletown, and at 86autoworld.com.